have to wait for it. Josh, you're late. Josh is late. Two people beat Josh to it. Hold on, bruh. Look who decided to come out of the darkness. <laughs> Let's see if we can get somebody else to pop up. Yeah, bruh. Oh, look who decided to come out of the darkness as well. Y'all go get him. Hey, bruh. Come on, boys. Go get some. Yeah, bruh. Oh, bruh. Trying the, the kitty cam. Kitty cam, I would say, is a success. All right, couple more. That's it. Willie. Willie. Yes. Oh, bro. Yes, my dudes. There they are, everyone. Getting treats. Willie. Hey. What? Willie? Are you cussing at Josh again? Oh, bro. Yeah, bro. All right, that's it. Y'all had plenty. All you guys. All right, bros. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, Willie. How's everybody doing? Figured I'd try, I'd do a little experiment with the kitty cam. See how that worked out. Worked out pretty good. Might have to use that one for more, more, uh, Live streams. That's what I was looking for. These are greenies. Dental treats. Thank you to Head Case Kelly. She came out and her significant other came out to the signing at Chandro Guitars. Not last, like a week ago or something like that. Yeah. And uh, they brought Willie treats. That was fantastic. Thank you, Headcase Kelly. As you can see, well, you know you can't see. Willie was thanking you as well. Um, yes, speaking of that, I apologize that I didn't get to do a live stream last Sunday. My flight was delayed twice coming in from Wisconsin. And yeah, didn't get home until like midnight. So that's why I figured by the time I got home, it was too late. And that's why I did not do the live stream last Sunday. Oh, bruh. Have I got some exciting news for you guys. So what do we have here? Let's take some questions. Let's start off. Philip, you don't want to try one of the greenies. Trust me. They don't taste very well. Roll 808. Yeah, man. Cool shit. It's good meeting you. At the Chandro signing. It was awesome. Um... All the guitars are fantastic. I hope everyone that got one is enjoying it thoroughly. Uh, I know I certainly am. Um, hell yeah. Thank you. Greetings from you, uh, the United States to Brazil.
How many guitars did I sell, Philip Gospar? Well, Philip, we were we only did 30 of them, and they sold out in the United States. Uh, we did 25, I believe, in the United States, and it sold out in two minutes. We had five reserved for overseas, and those five sold in less than 24 hours. So 30 guitars total, less than 24 hours, all of them were gone. Um, thank you to everybody that got one. They should, you should be receiving them. If you didn't receive a guitar yet, you should be getting it soon. I know they went out last week, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy them. They're fucking awesome. Trust me. I worked really hard to make sure those guitars are badass. Uh, let's take some questions real quick before we get to the big announcement. Alright, Josh has a very good question. Let's see. Do you remember almost being killed by police in Mexico? Heard they caught Dax smuggling fried chicken. Good question, Josh. Next question. Mosole. Did I get any new gear from Chandro Guitars? No. I came very close to buying a couple of things, but uh, his stuff is kind of kind of expensive. And uh, yeah, they uh, I almost came home with a couple of things, but you know. Shit happens. Didn't get him. Probably won't get him ever. But he had some really nice stuff in stock, though, Mo. He had some sick stuff in stock. So let's see. Next question. I will always pronounce your last name wrong. S. Laracina. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I'm brain dead. Uh, in my opinion, an Ibanez Destroyer series, bro. The Ibanez Destroyer series, the vintage ones, the old ones are fantastic. The new ones, I haven't played, but I heard they were good. So, they're very, very affordable guitars. The new ones, if you could find a vintage one for a good price, I would highly suggest getting on those things. Especially the neck through body ones or the set neck ones. Those are great. But the bolt-on ones are great too. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Slaughter 1994 says, Can I join Goat Whore? Not at this time. Sorry. All the positions are filled. Sorry, Slaughter. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We're going to take a couple more questions. Johnny Mac, you got a lot of questions, bro. I got to pick one. You, you. Did I already take your question, Johnny Mac? No. Johnny Mac. I'm going to come back to Johnny Mac later because he has a lot of questions. Uh, Evan MV57? Evan MV57 has a question. What riffs are you most proud of and what strings do you use? Oh, well, what riffs I'm most proud of. That's a, that's a very, very, very tough question to answer because I, you know, I'm very... Sorry about that. looked a little weird. Uh, I am very, very particular on what riffs I use. So, I come up with a lot of riffs, but I come up with a lot of shitty riffs, and I come up with a lot of good riffs. So, it's all about, uh, you know, using the right riff at the right time. Um, what riffs I would be most proud of? All of them. You know, it's something that I created. And, you know... 
not all riffs are created equal. But, you know, I, I can't name just one riff or five riffs that I'm most proud of. That I like them all. If I didn't like them, I wouldn't use them. But anyway, what strings do I use? I use 60 to 12 Dunlop Performance Plus strings. That's what I'm currently using right now, and they serve me very well. And when I don't use those, I use the Diodario 60 to 12s as well. Same gauge. So, hope that answers your question. I'd like to go to the bottom. You guys are very inquisitive this evening. Let's see. Alright, so what do we have? Mitch Reif. Mitch Reif has a question. Says, Sammy, I'm here with my friend Lane. She loves Acid Bath and wants to know what's your favorite Acid Bath song was to play live? My favorite Acid Bath song to play live. Oh, man. There were so many fun songs to play live. It's hard to pinpoint. One off the top of my head, I would say, would probably be The Blue. It was one of my favorites. Not, that I, I have, there's too many good ones to pick one, but one off the top of my head was probably The Blue. It was a very fun song to play live because some for some reason, that song live would just portray this energy with the audience that would just, I guess it would because it was kind of slow, then it would speed up, then it would slow, then it would speed up more. Um, it just created this energy live that was like when it started building up, it was just like bam, and the place just exploded. That was one of my favorite songs to play live just because it has this very dark aura to it, I would say. And it just, the audience, the audience's reaction to that song live was just intense. That was one of them, you know, there's just so many. You know, Bleed Me an Ocean was a great song that I used to really enjoy playing live for the same reason that it would just, it would just become this energetic vibe that just you know you can't describe it you just would you just had to experience it it's not something that you could put into words it's something you got to kind of feel but those are two of them but thank you for the question um there was only a couple yeah you know, I could go on and on on that kind of shit let's see Metal Joey 66 has a great question. It said, aside from you ES from your ESP star shaped guitars, what other shape would you play with goat whore? Well, what other shape would I play with goat whore? Well, you've probably seen me play uh, the ESP Envy shape, which is kind of like a King V, Jackson King V style. I played the V shape for a while. That one, the end, the ESP NVs, I like those a lot. Uh, if you're talking about other brands, oh, excuse me, I just ate a bunch of barbecue. Other brands uh, that I would play live with Gold Whore. Um, well, so, so, ah, it, can't speak tonight. Sorry, live stream's over. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, uh, the Jackson. Randy Rhodes, I've played those for a while with Goat Whore. I really like those. The Jackson Warriors, I've played those with Goat Whore for a long time, and those were awesome. Uh, you know, anything that's like a V shape or like kind of like an Explorer takeoff shape or a Star takeoff kind of shape. You know, uh, that would be if I wasn't playing ESP. Let's see what else we got. Alright, Sweet Sock 69 has a great question. It says, my opinion on Mesa Boogie amplifiers and experience with the Mark series. Um, 
I played through Dual Rex for a while, and those are not bad. Those are okay. The effects loop is a little funky, but other than that, I could get a pretty good sound out of them. Uh, the Mark series, uh, I've played through numerous Mark Threes, and those are really good, but they are really have a lot of bite to them. And uh, they almost had too much bite, some of them. They sound great, but from for Goat Whore, I don't think a Mark series would really work. But who knows? I have the ones that I played through. I only got to play. I only got to play through them for a few minutes and just be like, "Oh, that sounds great. It's fun, fun feeling amp." Uh, but I've heard other guys play through those amps. They got spectacular results. Um, uh, Shane Clark from Three Inches of Blood used one of the. I think it was a Mark III, and it sounded f fantastic. You know that. Work, it worked for him. Let's just put it that way. But for the ones that I played through, uh, it's a little too high endy for Gold Whore, to be honest with you. So, let's go and find another question. Let's see if we can find a good one. We have lots of questions. So I'm going to take one last question before we crank up the, the uh, before we start the announcement. Okay, and Dalton K57 says, Would you ever have Acid Bath merch re-released or have any new merch made? Well, speak of the devil, Dalton. We, as in myself and the remaining members of Acid Bath, have decided that being that this year is the 25th year of pagan terrorism tactics. Now we will be releasing starting tonight at pmstarpromo.com. I will have a link in my bio to these things eventually. Y'all ready? Y'all want to see what I'm about to show you? Or do you... Y'all nah, y'all not interested in that stuff, are you? Y'all not interested in any of that shit. Would you look at this? Oh shit! Hold on, I got you. Let's 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 see if I can get this into our normal universe here. And uh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? No, that's not the filter I'm looking for. Josh, where's that filter? Hey, did you see guys see that shit? That shit was fucking sweet. Oh, I'm just a ray of sunshine, aren't I? Look at that. Oh, we're experiencing technical difficulties. Ha! Okay. So. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. All right, God damn it! You guys are gonna have to fucking bear with me because these are no, it's backwards. But pagan terrorism tactics patches twenty five years with the limited edition artwork from the artwork album album cover artwork. Blah, can't speak. So we're going to have these. It will be limited to, limited to 110 of these. So be wary. At 110, you better get yours quick or it's going to sell out. So you can see the purple stitching. It's very nice. It's not printed. It's all woven. This shit is great. God damn it. It's pissing me off that I can't fucking... I can't... Where's my fucking filter that puts it like backwards? 
That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. God damn it, y'all. It's pissing me off. Yeah, bruh. What? Yeah, alright. Fuck it. I can't find it. But anyway, I know it's backwards. But this is what it looks like. And not done yet. I am not done yet. And we also have this awesome patch. It's fucking pissing me off that it's backwards, but we have these as well. Limited to 110 of each. You can get them at pmstarpromo.com. I'll have a link in my bio to the patches. That way you just have to go and click. I'll probably make a story. And that way you can just swipe up if you want them. Put the link in there. Uh, yeah. So, big announcement. Acid bath patches. Yes, they're here. They're available. Go get you some. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else do I want to mention? That we also have... Iron Age Guitar Works, Sammy Dewey picks. These picks are fantastic. They are very, they're made out of something, I forget, a material that's very, it's very tough. We have them in the super thick ones, and we also have the thinner ones, if that's what you're more comfortable with. Yes. Yes. You can't see it because my shit don't focus right. But anyway, we also have those picks. Iron Age Guitar Works, Iron Age Accessories, I believe, dot com. That link is in my bio. Uh, what else? As far as the patches go, as far as these fantastic, beautiful patches that came out, all woven, they're not screen printed. Are they? They look woven. Yes. Yes, they're woven. Very, very cool, very awesome. Sorry they're backwards. You get the gist. It's an acid bath patch. Uh, in addition to those two patches, when it gets closer to the actual anniversary date of Pagan Terrorism Tactics, I suggest that you all start saving your money because we're going to unleash a plethora of merchandise. Pagan Terrorism Tactics Era related. We're going to have a back patch coming out. Woven back patch. Not a screen printed back patch. It's not going to be a cheap. The ones that kind of crumble and after a while they start looking like crap. And high quality woven back patches. Prices will be decent on them. We're going to have shirts from that era. But there were going to be designs that we did while we were on tour that were never really released to the general public except for on tour. So we're going to have a couple of shirts around that from that era that we've made that's, you know, it's not going to be the album cover. It's going to be some weird designs that we, were have, that we had while we were on tour back then. So we're going to have shirts. More patches, probably some pins, probably some cool ass pins, uh, and me and Mike, I believe, are working on picks, pagan terrorism tactics, picks posters, signed, numbered, all the whole nine yards with pagan terrorism tactics picks on it. Where me and Mike are working on that right now, uh. Just a bunch of crap later this year when it gets closer to the anniversary date of Pagan Terrorism Tactics. But right now you can get the two Acid Bath Patches, Early Bird Release, 110 of each. 110 of this one, 110 of that one. So you might want to grab them quick before they sell out. Uh, PMStarPromo.com Yes, that was my big announcement. Uh, let's take some questions. PM Star Patrick speaking of the devil as a question as an R. Am I ready to start touring again? 
and I have been ready to start touring again. Yes, I've been ready for like a year. So, we will see you guys soon. That's all I can say. That's all I'm allowed to say at this time. You know, touring's starting to happen again. So, Josh, I'm coming for you. Next question. Sam X Mob has a question. Says my favorite cartoon character, my favorite cartoon of all time. Cartoon, uh, like a kid's cartoon or like an adult cartoon. My favorite cartoon of all time would have to be Heavy Metal. That's considered a cartoon, right? Or my favorite cartoon of all time would be what's that one. Was it, was it the Lord of the Rings cartoon? Let me do some research real quick. I think it was a cartoon. They did a long time ago. It's really old. Oh, what is it? Yes. Lord of the Rings, the 1978 animated film. That's considered a cartoon, right? It's an animated film. That one is fantastic. If you have not seen it, I highly suggest that you go check it out. Um, what is a good other cartoon? One of my favorite cartoons that would be considered a cartoon. Uh, Where the Dead Go to Die. That's animated, so that would be considered a cartoon. It's a movie. If you haven't seen it, Check it out. Where the dead go to die. Um, as far as like Saturday morning cartoons. Oh man. Which ones were my favorite? Tom and Jerry was my favorite. Of course because there was a cat. Um, what else man? What else man? It's hard. Scooby Doo. Was one of my favorite cartoons back in the day. So yeah. That's just a couple of things. All right, the Shan 420 has a great, great question. It says, what is the rarest record or tape that I own? Well, Shan, let me tell you something. I don't have it right here. It's, it's in the closet packed up. I don't bust it out very often. But I have the Dawn of Satan's Millennium. 7-inch picture disc from Beharit. That is extremely rare. And that is probably the rarest record that I own. It's an original pressing. And uh, I found it at a flea market in Germany for 5 euro. And considering that that has been selling on eBay for some ridiculous amounts of money, I think I made out pretty good. But the Beharit Dawn of Satan's Millennium 7-inch picture disc, that is the rarest record that I own. And it's probably my favorite as well. Philip Gospire has a question. says, how many shots of Jack we took in Beaumont, Texas? So, so Philip Gospire came to a show, I think it was around Halloween and came see us in Beaumont, Texas. We played some place and uh, me and Philip did many shots of Jack Daniels. So if I was to going to take a guess of how many shots of Jack Daniels we took that evening, Philip, I would have to guess to somewhere around 12 to 15. Somewhere around there. So yeah, there you go. Philip Gospire has another question. Says, tell us about that driftwood amp. Well, everybody's been asking, how is that driftwood amp that was uh, that was at Chandro's and blah, 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 the driftwood, the driftwood, the driftwood. What about the driftwood? Well, my honest opinion, Philip, and this is everyone else about the driftwood amp that I was... I was pretty excited to try it when I saw it. 
You know, I had never played through a driftwood amp, driftwood amp before. And, you know, there's a lot of bells and whistles on that amp. A lot of bells and whistles. And I plugged into the amp expecting it to be this, you know, the ground to crack open and flames, demons come out from the tone. Didn't happen. So my opinion on the Driftwood amp is I've heard better. That's just my personal opinion on the amp. I know people that love that amplifier. It was too modern for me, man. It was too modern. There was a clip I posted, reposted from uh, Reidner, Rob Reidner's page. He was there with me. Uh, the clip that I'm playing in was actually to a 1979 Marshall with the Michael Klein Audio Design Dybbuk, which is my signature overdrive pedal. So it was the SD1 LTD through the Michael Klein Dybbuk pedal into a 1979 Marshall. That's how I got that sound. As far as the driftwood, as far as the driftwood goes, a little bit too modern for me. A little bit too 5150-ish for me. And it was just too much stuff on it, man. They had a built-in tube screamer and all this other stuff that, you know, I guess it's cool. I guess it's cool. But, uh, you know, the amp that really freaked me out in that shop that uh, that was at Chandro was the Jakey Lee Friedman head. The red one with the white face. That amp sounded fantastic. Driftwood, it was okay. It wasn't, it, you know, it wasn't, it didn't really you know, blow me away like I was expecting it. Uh, the Mezzobarba stuff, that stuff is good too. But the Driftwood was, eh, it was pretty. It was a beautiful amp. All right, let's see. Jimmy K164 has a question. Say, what happened to the red picks? What happened to those damn red picks? Do I have one handy? I know I do. Oh, God damn you, Jimmy. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just playing around. I know what picks you're talking about. We're going to do a redo of that pick very soon. The red picks, we, we sold out of the other ones, but we're going to make some more probably in the next couple of months. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye, look out on ironageaccessories.com. The red ones, we're definitely going to do another version. We might do a different color. Not until we're entirely sure. I need to talk with, uh, the guys at Iron Age and see if we could possibly do a different color. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, we'll definitely do another version of that. Possibly a different color. All right. Let's see, what else do we got? Jimmy, you asking a bunch of questions. So Mr. William H. Cat says, Sabertooth Tiger or Josh? And I would have to say the Sabertooth Tiger. Because if there was a battle between a Sabertooth Tiger and Josh, I'm pretty sure that the Sabertooth Tiger would win. Just saying. I mean, I haven't seen Josh's fighting skills or nothing. But uh, my money would definitely be on the Sabertooth Tiger. Let's see. What else? Light blue tendons. Let's continue the. Let's continue roasting Josh. Light blue tendons. Act, Sammy. When are you gonna have Josh on the live stream? Well, I would have Josh on the live stream, but I would get him on here, and he would not stop laughing. I wouldn't be able to communicate with him because he would just be sitting there giggling the whole time. So that's why I don't have Josh on the live stream when he be, when when he can regain his composure and have a conversation with me. Then we'll do it. 
when he gets over the whole giggly thing, you know, then we'll ha then I'll get Josh on here. But until then, you know, unless you guys want to see Josh in a split screen with me just standing there asking him questions and him just laughing and giggling, I mean, we'll see. Let's see. Johnny Mac LSU, here's your question. Because you have a bunch of questions, so I'm picking this one. Best band from Liverpool, Carcass or the Beatles? And I would say Carcass, because I am not a Beatles fan whatsoever. Thank you, Johnny Mac. Let's see. Jimmy K, I already got you two. Ah, let's go, Johnny. God damn, Johnny Mac. You sent like fucking ten questions, bro. All right. Let's see. Number one, Hypocrite. As a great question says, favorite track off of Two Megatherion by Celtic Frost. And one of my favorite tracks off of Two Megatherion by Celtic Frost would probably be, oh man, it would be a tie between Jewel Throne and Necromantical Screams. It would have to be a tie between those two songs. Just saying. Usurper is a great song as well, too. There'll be a tie between those three songs. Too many good songs in that record to really pick one, man. But if I had to narrow it down, I'd narrow it down to those three. RS Kiss has a question. It says, still a chance for the live stream to get re released. It was so good. I hate to see it end up buried. Um, yes. RS Kiss, we are working on that as we speak to possibly release it on demand again, but possibly edit it with some cool extra stuff, maybe some behind the scenes footage um, and stuff like that. So just make it something real cool instead of, you know, just being live because the live stream, when we initially aired it was freaking live there was no there, there was no going back and fixing anything we were actually playing at that period of time um so we're going we're talking about that right now we're talking about possibly getting it remastered and adding some extra stuff to it so yes it will not get buried trust me it's All right, Josh has a statement, everyone. Josh says, Sammy doesn't let me on because he knows I will ask the juicy, question, the, the juicy questions that everyone else is too scared to ask. I don't think that's the case, Josh. I think the case is that I'll put you on the live stream and you'll be just like, huh, 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 this is cool. Huh, huh. That's, that's what I think is going to happen. We'll see. We will see, my friend. And end up talking about, like, uh, what's that fucking Drake Bell thing that you keep talking about? All right. So. We're going to end this on this question Amber Rochelle Amber Rochelle from the Moch Roach Motel is asking what time are the patches going on sale they're on sale right now at pmstarpromo.com I will post a link in my bio when we're done here like I said, limited to 110 of these each. 110 of these, 110 of these. You might want to get them sooner than later before they sell out. Uh, just like to remind you as well, we have a few left of the Iron Age accessories picks. Deborah. And, uh, 
I'm getting out of here, y'all. I got shit to do. I'll see you guys next Sunday. And uh, possibly, yeah, maybe. I might not be able to do the live stream next Sunday. Maybe, because we are going to Florida. Well, supposedly, myself and Mr. Ben Falgo are supposed to be traveling to Florida next Sunday to go finish the tracking for the Goat Whore record. So depending on what happens with that, I'll let you guys know and see if I am going to be able to do the live stream or not. If we're, It's going to be kind of hard for me to do it. Well, I might be able to do it traveling in the van, depending on what time we get there, what time we leave. Who knows? We'll see. We'll play it by ear. But anyway, it's good seeing all you guys. Hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you guys. If I don't see you guys next Sunday... I'll see you soon. All right. Y'all take it easy. Josh, behave yourself, man.